Hello everyone, I'm Channel 3 Meteorologist Greg D here at the WKYC Weather Center. Quick weather update about uh, potentially active evening setting up across Northeast Ohio. We'll start you off with this, a uh, slight to enhanced risk now of severe weather from Cuyahoga to Summit over toward Holmes, Wayne and Medina counties onto the west. So an elevated risk of hail, wind and some possible isolated tornadoes. The Storm Prediction Center has placed portions of Huron, Erie, Lorraine, Richland and Ashland counties under a tornado watch until 8 p.m. Tuscarawas County until 10 p.m. A severe thunderstorm watch down then. I do expect additional severe weather watches to be extended for Northeast Ohio as we go through the evening. And here is why. We are watching for thunderstorms. Now there are no thunderstorms affecting us right here in Northeast Ohio. Down to the south where the severe thunderstorm watches down toward Cambridge and the I-70 corridor. There have been a couple of pop-up showers and storms. These have not been severe. Though we'll watch them as they head toward Holmes, Tuscarawas, Carroll, and Stark counties. Here's the line of storms that we're watching for this evening embedded supercell storms individual cells within this line that could really turn intense at any moment so we'll be watching these very carefully you see these cells here these would be the ones we'd be watching for possible tornadoes the watch boxes there with them those are severe thunderstorm warnings no tornado warnings at this time let me break down the timing for you for this as we go through the evening we'll take you through five o'clock still I think will be mainly dry it's after that here is 6 p.m. thunderstorms start affecting our western counties Ashland over towards Richland, Huron, and Erie County. By 7 p.m., those storms could be in the Cleveland Akron Metro down toward Canton and the I 77 corridor. As we go through 8 o'clock, that initial line moves east towards Ashtabula, Geauga, and Trumbull counties. Additional thunderstorms are still possible to the west, so it could be an active evening. And I'm not liking what I'm seeing from the model here. These individual cells of storms could point to the potential of severe weather. That would go through at least 10 and 11 o'clock this evening as well. May take until after midnight for all this to clear out. Marcus Walter and I are here in the WKYC Weather Center. Watch our social media channels, facebook.com slash meteorologist Greg D at Greg D Weather on Twitter, Instagram. Also, download the WKYC app on your smartphone to keep, to keep track of those storms and watch for updates throughout the day. We'll break in live if warnings are issued on WKYC and WKYC.com.